Hey there YouTube, I'm Ikitsu, this is Ikitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome to a little bit of Civilization 6. So, uh, starting over, and the reason that we are is because we have, um, in that last playthrough, I didn't really have a firm foundation as to what sort of victory I was going to get, and on deity difficulty, it's kind of a good idea to have some sort of idea as to what you're doing. So, in this particular one, I'm, I'm sort of going with the strategy of, at about turn 20, which we'll call the end of the video, um, I'm going to have a better idea as to which strategy we're going to go. Now, there is some variance that you have to have in terms of like what sort of things you find. Like you maybe find a really significant wonder, or maybe you find a bunch of, for example, I think there's a scientific city-state over here. Um, you maybe find a bunch of city-states, and that sort of directs you towards one thing or another. But what I've got as a skeleton for a plan in this instance is to go for a sort of religious victory here. Um, with Japan, not not pure religion here. Yeah, they're... they're all right, so, but uh, we're going to use religion to sort of found a conquest, and uh, we're going to sort of use that. Um, now, science is actually going to be pretty important for us here, so the fact that we found Hattusa here is really quite decent for us. Um, obviously, I would much prefer to actually find um, a religious city-state, so we'll try and uh, see if we can get one of those. I'm going to have to pass through Hattusa here, I think. Yeah, this is going to take me a while, but... Um, Let's try and get through these guys. So yeah, um, Japan, fairly decent at slamming up religious stuff pretty quickly. And they're also a pretty decent military civilization. And you can sort of combine those two things together in this game. Um, so there are civilizations I think are probably better for that purpose, but I think Japan actually can pull it off pretty decently. Um, religion can be used in a couple different ways to enhance your sort of military. One of the ways is that it can directly strengthen units uh, with the conquest uh, or whatever one I can't remember what's called. If there are no um, and then the other way that it can do it is by the just um. The all right. Uh, the other way that it can sort of do it is through uh, production. You can sort of produce new units with uh, faith sometimes. Um, I think we're going to start working on this thing here now. I do want to get this tile really badly, but for now I think we just stick with what we got. We have decently high production at the very least. But our food production is going to be pretty low until we get those spices, and potentially that uh, that's that's also not great. Um, okay, well, you know what? This is this is okay. All right, so you guys start heading towards down here, and you guys go ahead and thwack these guys once, and then we'll keep healing these guys sort of between hits. But um, I kind of want to get these guys so I can uh, get the bonus to archery, uh, get that uh, boosted up faster. Gonna go ahead and uh, skip a turn here. Move you guys down here. Oh, so closely oh, situated. Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay. Um. This is a very meaningful um, <laughs> a wonder discovery because it's within range of my starting city. Holy shit. Okay, that's interesting. And this is a great one for purposes of um. Uh, of, of militarism, so this is actually fantastic for me. Um, I'm going to wait one more turn for these guys. Alright, so, uh, we'll have you guys... Yeah, we're going to wait one more turn, heal. Uh, have you guys head this way. Do need to find at least two more city-states, but... Uh, Alright, we're going... We got um, the thing that lets us build uh, animal things right now, so... Do that first. Oh, look at that. Alright, we're gonna give these guys another thwack here. Start. Just gotta keep moving into over, over here here. And um, I, I'm, I'm sort of expecting Hattusa to be next to the majority of the city states on this continent potentially. Oh, that's a lake. I thought that was gonna be coast. Okay. Alright, so. I think we maybe give these guys one more thwack potentially. Uh, you know what? Actually, no. Let's start exploring again. And we're gonna move you guys over here. We should be able to beat these guys with our slingers by themselves there. There's the Dutch. It's an honor to meet you. Exchanging information would be lovely. Um, okay, I'm going to move here so that we can potentially cross the river. And we're going to work on astrology here. That's going to be fantastic. Okay. So these guys will probably move up beside my uh, slingers here. And I should be able to get a free shot at them. Alright, perfect. And hopefully they'll even go back onto their camp which tends to happen quite often. Now the one problem here is I don't have any sort of access to religious bonuses just yet, but that's not a huge problem for Japan. Um, especially because we did get the boosts to religion, so 
Alright, uh, we'll go ahead and grab our bonus combat there, and we're going to go with God King for a little while here. And the reason we're getting this is we've got plenty of production right now, and I do need to get that sort of head start in getting a um, Pantheon here. Go ahead and get that. Uh, we'll move you down here. Whoa. Oh. Okay, so that is going to be fantastic. All right. Boost to archery. Some whales down there. That's all fine. And hopefully they Hotusa won't t take that from us because uh, I kind of really want that. Or you know maybe maybe that could have not happened. Oh shit! I forgot that thing. All right. Well, things are going a little bit sideways all of a sudden, but you know what? It's broadly fine. Um, Okay, I think we're going to have to head back up to that wood there or something like that. But this will be a good way for me to potentially get bronze working, I guess. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, we'll go back and get this thing. Okay, uh, you guys, let's head up to here for that combat bonus, potentially. And also the possibility that they go fight Hattusa instead of me. I think I got a unit there. I hope it's a builder. No, nope, Recon. All right. All right. So the question for this is, what other cities do I found around there? Do I found any other cities around there? That's nah, not great, but use that for battle cry. All right, so we've got a defensive advantage now. Should be a little bit easier to fit, uh, fend off things. And I think for here, uh, we want to start off with the sheep, is my opinion. And I think we'll head up this way. Oh, that is not ideal. Okay. I probably need to build one more unit or something. Oh, there's Valletta. Uh, they're being attacked probably by the Dutch. Okay. Uh, I think we start working on our settler now. If we can build a unit uh, to fight off stuff, that would be great. But it looks like we can't. Getting 9.4 turn in uh, income is not bad, though. It's probably because those pigs are giving us a decent amount of money. Alright, so... Great. I don't believe in so, let's go ahead and chuck rocks at these guys here. Head you over that away. Have you guys improve the sheep. I love how, like, sheep teach you how to ride horses, apparently. It's a great sort of little thing there. Um, we'll work on mining as our next thing. I want to get the boost for irrigation from over there. And we're going to have you guys head that way. I'm going to actually just have you guys fortify until healed. I think we can technically... I think we can sort of beat back those guys. Yeah, there's definitely... Amsterdam is definitely attacking those guys. That's fine, though. Um, I just have to have discovered them, because that still counts towards the quest, so... I think our scout should be able to fend these guys off and kill them um, if I keep uh, reinforcing there. Alright, and fortify until healed. Okay, I'm just going to step here and then fortify or heal these guys with uh, that, just in case they spawn another unit just all of a sudden with the bullshit that they are doing. Alright, um... I think we'll move over to here, see if I can get past these guys. Now, the Dutch are usually not super, super militaristic, so I should be able to beat them. Um, I think they are going to probably defeat the city-state, of course, because city-states are super weak in this game, but that's all fine. Okay. Right, so I think what we're going to want to take is the city uh, patron goddess. This is something that sort of synergizes well with Japan. Uh, you get plus 25% production bonus towards uh, districts and cities without a specialty district. So every time you're spamming out cities, you can get a district faster. Um, so this is a great way for Japan to just spam out lots and lots of districts. Um, we're going to slip over this way. Leta is definitely going to fall. That's perfectly fine. We're going to continue healing. Okay, good. And you guys, boom. All right, so we'll keep Hattusa protected and we'll keep uh, sort of spamming uh, stuff towards them, but... Um... Oh, 
shit, he killed my, um, killed my scout. I did not think he'd be able to do that. Alright, well. He must have got a, an unlucky roll at some point there. Um, we'll have you guys head back home. Can technically get to this square, yep. Yeah. Alright. So one of the problems is, like, the AI just gets cities. Like, they get as many cities as they want, basically. Which is unfair as hell, but... You deal with it. Um, Alright, move over to here. Into Nijmegen. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I know there was a significant military operation that happened around Nijmegen, but I can't remember what it was part of. Anyway. Get that. Nice. Okay. So that'll help speed things up just a little bit there. I think it was part of the Arnhem, Arnhem um, operations. Anyway. Um, let's get writing next, I think. That's what we're going to need. Actually, no, let's start working on um, irrigation. We're not going to finish it yet, but... Let's move you over to here. No, I don't actually need irrigation yet. Let's get... Um, let's get writing. And I need this guy to finish up faster so I can get my whatever it is. Um, well, that's not fun. All right. So I really would like that tile. Um, let's switch over to this. I'm going to wait for that to naturally uh, go there. I'm going to put this unit to sleep here. Get the boost and have that sort of happen all at once there. Since I don't need this stuff right now, I don't think. Also, this guy's really annoying. Alright. Alright, move you up to here. Okay. Could also buy towards that tile, because that one just is good. Oh, maybe I should move my uh, one guy into the town a little bit further. Um, okay, so if I go here, I'd be getting these tiles and that one, but I would be missing out on these ones. These ones are actually a lot worse than the ones up north, though. So actually, this is probably fine. I'm going to actually have you guys treat into there for a second. Have you guys do your thing there, and I'm going to start building a couple more slingers or something here. Alright, actually no. Um, we're going to buy a slinger, um, and we're going to go ahead and start producing our holy site. And yeah, we'll build it towards here, because uh, this holy site's going to be closer to this city. So get that sort of adjacency bonus going there, nice and early. All right, cool. Look at all these scouts around us. Oh my god. All right. Um, now, barbarian scouts don't really do very much in terms of attacking units, but still want to be careful about them. It's only two turns for me to build that uh, first district out of that holy site, and this is what uh, Japan's pretty strong with. They can slip in a holy site district for practically free, especially if you get the pantheon that I did. So he'll probably kill this guy, and that's fine. Probably settle another city just on top of that wine there. That'll also get me access to amber, so it'll get me a couple um, really nice things there. Knowledge of bronze working has increased. Got our uh, writing there. And we are going to want to use writing pretty soon, but... It's all fine. Um, I might as well actually get this one. Let's get bronze working. I want to know where the map has the uh, resources on it. And let's have you guys in here. We'll heal up from the city. Uh, I could try to get that, but getting back out would be impossible. So I'm going to head up to here and I'm going to follow that um, settler. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I could potentially capture it. And that would give me a really nice bonus. OK. 
Okay, so I'm kind of wondering, I'm guessing there's a barbarian camp down that way, which is not really ideal, but I'll heal you guys up there, get ourselves our... I kind of want to get the granary here in all honesty, but for now let's just go ahead and get another... I think we... hmm... How are we doing for sort of great people, I wonder? Getting zero. Didn't we just finish that? We should be getting one. Hmm. I guess we'll go ahead and get that, uh, since we need the great person points. Um, okay. For this city, let's go ahead and get... I kind of want to get our holy site here. Uh, we have got the city patron goddess here. And I can... Just drop it here, get a plus three. All right, perfect. Get you guys healed up there. All right. Oops, I forgot. All right, forgot our mission. Um. Okay, so I know he's heading down this way, so I'll sort of follow him down that route. If I can get a free settler, that's going to help us tremendously. Also, putting back the Dutch uh, a little bit would be quite nice here. Um. More barbarians. Along my borders, blah blah blah. Okay. Alright. So we didn't finish craftsmanship with that. Three more turns, okay. Um, okay, he's heading up north now, actually. Um, two, three. He could settle here, potentially. So this is sort of like one of my last chances to get, get this guy. Alright. Oh, we discovered Kumasi on that. Did the Kumasi declare war on us? Yes, it did. Right. Worst comes to worst, I could always just delete the unit. Uh, if I don't think I can make it back out. But we are going to create escort for escort formation there. And I think we have to sort of try and... Uh, not actually sure how to dodge out of this, honestly. Oh. Yeah, I might honestly just... My lead. The more special. Not 100% sure how to get out of this situation here. Um, I feel like over here is probably going to be our best bet, but that does put us next to this guy, which I sort of knew would be there. Um, it would be nice if I had a, a waiting promotion for this guy, but... All right, so we're, we're past the turn I said I was going to sort of stop. Uh, we're at turn 32 now. So we will be calling this an episode, um, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to figure out a way to get that settler back. Oh, I hope you found this episode enjoyable, and of course, as always, hope to see you guys all next time.